Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, aka Alexis in Life. In today's tutorial, we are going to be making this mini Loomy Groomy Turtle. This design is by Cupcake Looms on Instagram. I will have all of her socials linked in the description below. I do want to give her another shout out. For letting me make the tutorial on this adorable adorable turtle it is super simple pretty easy very cute not band heavy at all very cute so if you do enjoy my videos please give this video a like comment below subscribe be sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram be sure to check out my Etsy shop and be sure to check out my Amazon storefront. Anyway, let's get into the supplies that you will need to make this little guy. So for the supplies you're going to need to make this mini turtle or baby turtle, um, I am going to be using this color for the head and feet. And for the head, you need about 74 ish bands and for the feet you need about 44 ish bands and then for the body I am going to be using um I don't know what color yet give me a second and then for the body I'm going to be using this purple color and the body takes about 125 bands um, don't quote me on the exact band count because I am not good at math. Um, you can definitely make the feet and the head different colors, but I am not doing that. So, yes. So that's what you'll need for bands. And then you will need some stuffing and then safety eyes or beads for the eyes. So gather your supplies and then we will start making the feet for this little turtle. So for the feet of this turtle, I would recommend using a double-ended hook if you have one because um, there is some stuff that requires, it's kind of like, kind of like um, bracelet making in a way, but not bracelet making. So to start out with our um, feet, you're going to be doing a cap band. So you're gonna wrap your band around four times, and then you're gonna grab two bands and pull them onto the cap band. I wanna try and center that. So this is what you should have and then you're going to take two more bands i'm going to move the bands out of the way because it doesn't it seems to be focusing on something else so you're going to take two of these um two bands only <laughs> this is what i hate this hook you're only going to pull um half of your only two bands and then you're going to flip your hook if you have a double-ended hook it is definitely possible to do it on the rainbow loom hook you just have to hold your bands you're going to take two more bands and you are going to pull it through just those outer two this is what you should have so far it kind of looks like we're making a bracelet but we're not so this could get um this is going to get a little tricky because now we are going to take two more bands and you are going to want to take um, these two end bands off your hook and then you are going to either hold the two loose bands or let them hang there if you feel you're not going to, you know, like murder them. And we're pulling these, these two bands through the middle four bands just like so and my two bands did stay on so you just can put those back onto your hook 
So this is what it should look like for you. Um, looks like we're making a bracelet, but um, if you got through that, that was really the only hard part <laughs> for this design. You're going to take um, two more bands and just pull through everything on your hook. So it should look like this. And then you're going to take your body color and pull your body color through that. And we are going to need to make three more of these. Um, I will make um, another one on camera with you guys just in case I went a little too fast for you. So you're going to want to put that one to the side and then um, we're just going to start that process all over again. I'm going to take a band, wrap it around four times and we're going to pick up two bands and pull these two bands through those our capping band and we're going to take an additional two bands pull that through those two and then if you do have a double ended hook you're going to slide it down and flip your hook and grab two more bands pull through those two on the end now um, you are going to want to grab two more bands and this is the little tricky part um, you're going to just take off these two end bands and then you are going to pull two bands through the middle four bands like so and then pick up the two bands that you took off. So you should have this. And now you are going to take two more bands of your leg or arm color. Pull that through everything on your hook. And then you're going to take your body color and pull that through. And now we need to make um, two more of these so i will be making these off camera i did show you how to do it twice so if you still uh, need the instructions just rewind this video and come back to me when they are completed so i have completed my four feet for the turtle i will be putting those to the side and then the next thing that we should, <laughs> not thing, the next um, body part we're going to be making is the head. Um, for the head, you can definitely just use the normal rainbow loom hook. I just used the double ended hook because it was, was kind of like uh, a bracelet. So it just made it easier for me to do all like the twisting and the turning but um, the head. So to start off our head, we are going to be making a magic ring of four. So you wrap your band around, one band around three times. You take your hook, go through that band, and then you slide the bottom band over the top band and you are going to go back into your three little loops and you're going to take another band and pull that through the three loops and you're going to pull the back two over that first loop and repeat until you have four so that was two is going to be my third stitch and then this is going to be four um, I do recommend watching like a Lumi Gurumi basics video if you are coming into this new 
because um, you probably won't understand the terminology. Um, also grab a C-clip or stitch marker if you haven't done that because I just remembered to do that now. So we're going to put your C-clip or stitch marker on the band that is on your hook. And then for our second row, we're going to be doing an increase all the way around. So an increase is just two bands in one stitch. So it's going to be one, one band back into that same stitch. You're going to pull another band through that is two now that we have two stitches in our first one we're going to move on to the second stitch and repeat that same thing one band and then go back through the same stitch and pull another band through you should have four loops now and then you go into your third loop Pull two bands through, and then you should be back at your stitch marker or C clip. And we are going to pull an additional two bands through that um, starting stitch as well. Okay, and now you should have eight stitches all the way around. Just to check, we can count. And you do count these the band on your hook so that's one two three four five six seven eight so i do have eight stitches for the third row you are going to be doing a single increase all the way around so a single is just one band through one stitch just like that and then we just did increases so that's two bands through the same stitch i'm trying to loom a little slower than i normally do for the tutorial purposes i do apologize for my ugly nails i um i did get my nails um taken off and i've had them off for a while now i'm thinking about getting them start to start to get them done again that was a single and now we're going to be doing an increase just two bands through the same stitch now back to our single and then our increase and a single stitch and you shall end on an increase like so and now you're going to want to move your stitch marker or c-clip onto the band that is on your hook so this is what you should have so far mine does it does look a little funky because i'm using um dual layer bands or whatnot but this is fine this is fine so now for the next three rows we are just going to be doing 12 stitches all the way around for the next three rows. So I will do the first um, round with you, and then I will leave you to do the two other rounds of single crochets. One, two, three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12 so we just did one row together you need a total of three rows of single crochet 
So you are going to go ahead and do the next two rounds of single crochet on your own. And when you do complete those, um, we can start the next row together. So this is what you should have after completing those two rounds of single crochets on your own. At this point, um, we can go ahead and grab our safety eyes or beads and we can put those on. I am grabbing my handy dandy um, safety eye container that I have. And for this project, I am going to be using the eight millimeter safety eyes. That is what I used for the green one. So I'm going to be using those again for this tutorial, obviously. So what I did for the safety eyes, um, we can take a look at this one. I put them like super up front. So like pretty sure like I'm gonna either, I'm gonna put one like here or if that is two two front maybe one more back but it's like I don't like to put the safety eyes on until like the last possible moment so I just um take a look at it and they look they look even to me what do you guys think I think they look okay to me so I like that placement, so I'm going to go ahead and secure the backings on to them. Um, if you have beads, you would go ahead and add, I mean you can add those, you can add those in at the end if you want as well, but I guess it depends how you attach them. So, so our safety eyes for our turtle's head. So once you add those. We are going to continue. We are going to start with some decreases. So our pattern for round seven is going to be single decrease. I will show you how to do a decrease if you're not 100% sure. So first we are going to do our single. And then now for our decrease. This is how I do decreases. Uh, people might do them differently. I grab the back loop and then the front loop of the next stitch. Well, I grab the back loop of one stitch and then the stitch next to the, the stitch that I grab the back loop for, I grab the first loop of that stitch. So you should B, I'm grabbing in total of two stitches for a decrease because we need we need to decrease. So, and you take your band, you pull that through both bands, and then that. And now we're gonna do a single crochet. Now we have another decrease, so I will do that slowly. Um, let me try to show you like different angle. So you go in. You grab the bottom band and then you go to the next stitch and grab the top band and pull a band through both of those stitches. And now we have a single and another decrease. So we're going to grab that bottom band and the top band and then pull those two and stitch in our last single and then our last um, decrease for this row oh, front loop I mean back loop um, front loop okay stitch marker on that band on our hook now our hole is uh, significantly smaller so you're going to want to grab your stuffing before we close. Um, the head doesn't need like a lot of stuffing, a little would be fine. 
I guess it depends on what I grab. This is probably too much, but we'll see. Just gonna go ahead and put it in there as best as I can. Okay, awesome. So I think I like that amount of stuffing. It looks good to me. So once you get the amount of stuffing and you like it, for the last row, we are just going to decrease all the way around. Um, it'll be a little harder to show you how to do the decreases with the stuffing in there. Um, you are going to want to avoid grabbing the stuffing as much as possible as well. I mean, you can definitely, I always end up having to um, pull like the stuffing out that you is like sticking out and whatnot, but you would try to avoid having to do that. Okay, we're back at our stitch marker. Oh, I. I don't know, there's nothing there. I kind of was off out of the frame for that. Sorry, guys. And um, we're back at the stitch marker, so I am gonna be just do um, one more additional decrease until the hole looks closed up. And you're going to pull a band through everything on your hook and tie that off. And then for the tie-off band, you are going to just pull that through. Oops, I lost it. You're going to pull that through the head. You're going to pull it through the head so you can't see it anymore. I'm going to pull it through the head so you can't see it anymore. And then this is your turtle's head. Complete it. So now the only thing left to make is the turtle's shell. So I will be starting that in the next clip. All right, so now we are going to be starting our turtle's shell. You can definitely make it more than one color if you want, but I am just going to be making it purple. So to start off our turtle's shell, you are going to make a magic... Oops, I lost some bands. You are going to make a magic ring of five. So you know, pull a band through... And then you pull four more bands through, which will equal five. I'm going to go a little faster this time since you should have a good sense on how to make these, um, the magic ring already from making the head. And a total of five stitches. My camera is shaking a little bit. One, two, three, four, five stitch marker place that on the band that's on your hook and now for the second row we are going to increase all the way around one two three four five so we'll have 10 stitches i feel like i have definitely forgot to tell you how many stitches you're supposed to have so i'll probably um right i'll probably add um the pattern like on the screen since i don't think i said the total stitches but um i'll have to rewatch. Alright, so after this, you should have 10 stitches in total. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I have 10. So for our third round, it is going to be a single increase. And once you complete it, you should have a total of 15 stitches. 
So we're going to be doing a single increase all the way around. One, two, which is an increase. Single, increase. Single, increase, the table's making some noises, single, increase, single, and then our last increase for the round should take you back to your C-clip or stitch marker. Alrighty, so this is what you should have so far. Um, for round four, we are going to be doing two single crochets and then an increase. When you complete this round, you will have a total of 20 stitches. Single. We're doing our increase. Now doing a single, single, increase, oops, single, single, Increase, single, single, increase, single, single. Increase. All right, after your last increase, you should have 20 stitches around. So we can count our stitches. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I have 20, so make sure you have 20. And now for our next two rows, we are just going to be doing single crochets all the way around our shell. I will do the first row with you on camera and then for the second row, I will be doing that off camera since it is just singles. So I feel like most of you know how to do singles. Since thing, the singles are as, um, as easy as it gets, you know? Some, sometimes they're really repetitive and boring but, you know, but yeah, so still doing singles all the way around our first, this is the first row still, which is nice. Um, Sorry if you can hear my dog breathing really loud while I'm filming, Shadow. Can you, do you got a nap so loud? Jeez. I don't know if you can hear that though, but I can. All right. Almost at the end of our first um, round of singles. So... I will be going off camera to finish the second round of single crochets for our shell. So you can go ahead, pause the video, and complete your last row of single crochets around the shell, and then you can come back to me. All right, so this is what you should have after completing one additional row. Of singles around your turtle shell. For the seventh row, 
we are going to be doing two singles and a decrease, which will take us down to 15 stitches. So our single, single, you can probably see the decrease better on the shell. So we're going to grab the bottom loop, go over to the next loop and grab the top loop and pull a band through both of those bands and complete our stitch. Now it's going to be a single, single, decrease again, and a single, single, decrease. Single, single, decrease, single, single, and our last decrease for this row, of course. Now for our eighth row, we are going to be doing single decrease all the way around. That will bring us down to 12 stitches. I don't think that is the correct um, count for that. So we'll double check here when I'm done. So single decrease single. Decrease, single, decrease, single, decrease, single, decrease. So now we'll go ahead and count our stitches because I'm not sure if we're supposed to have 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that brings you down to 10, not 12 stitches. We'll have to change that in my notes. 10. So now you're going to want to grab your stuffing um, to stuff your shell. I got this, but I think I need a little more. So I'm going to have to grab some additional stuffing. Not too much though. You don't want to overstuff it. So you're going to stuff your shell. Just stuff your shell. I think that is just the perfect amount of stuffing for my shell. And once you stuff it, this is going to be our last row row nine, which is just going to be decreases until your hole is gone. So decrease, 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 another decrease. And at this point, you can take off your stitch marker because you won't need it anymore. And as you can see, we still got a little bit of a hole, so I'm going to do maybe two more additional decreases to close, to close up that hole. And once you like um, where your hole is, I'm going to pull a band through everything and tie it off tightly. We're going to do the same thing we did for the head. We are going to pull the tie off band through the body, trying not to grab the stuffing. It's not working out for me, as you can see. So you're going to pull it through and hide that in the body. If you can, if your stuffing doesn't fight you. So, yeah, we got a little bit of. A little bit of a hairy situation going on over here. But yeah, once um, this is what your shell should look like. So now we are just going to be 
attaching our head and legs, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the head. So this could be um, a little tricky. I know I always um, struggle with attaching body parts still to this day. Um, so you're going to want to just line up your head somewhere on your shell like that. And I am going to reach into the back of my shell and grab a band like so. And I'm going to look at my turtle shell, see where it sort of lines up. So I'm going to grab a body color band and pull that through. So basically, I'm just doing stitches all the way around the head. But the main thing here is you're just going to want to be making sure your head is going on straight because it can definitely get um, a little off track here if you don't pay attention. I'm going to grab the next stitch closest and I'm going to grab this stitch, pull a band through. I low key hope that my head is going on straight then I'll be a little embarrassed to have to refilm this part of the tutorial. <laughs> um, yeah, so just keep checking that your head is straight when you're stitching. If it's not straight, um, you'll just either have to start over or fix it if you if you can. Gonna go in here. Here, if you can, I did not grant or seem to grab both bands. Okay, so now we're going to grab just a band that lines up with our head. Pull that through both of those bands. Uh, let's see. Head is looking a little not straight. <laughs> So if you can, you're going to want to hold your head straight while you're putting it on as well. Otherwise, it'll look a little wonky. Mine is looking a little wonky, but I'm hoping um, I can fix it by adding it um, on straighter right now. Okay, I'm just going to grab the next stitch or wherever is closest to the shell. Obviously, you want our head to go on straight. I might have to redo it if mine isn't straight, but you know, that is just the struggle of looming. Things do not always go on straight, but it is not a hard fix. Um, so yeah, now that I'm looking at it, it, it looks pretty sh straight to me. Just give it like a few tugs and adjustments. But if your head is completely off, and not straight, I would recommend um, starting over just in case. I'm going to do just one more small stitch over here. Tie off everything once your head is on there. Now I'm going to adjust the head a little bit by making, you know, some movements. So it appears to be on there straight, as you can see. Um, that's probably the hardest part of the tutorial besides um, getting, making the legs. If you've never made like a hook only bracelet, you're just going to want to hide your tail in the shell again. 
Um, now the turtle could be reversible, but with the way I put my eyes on, it would look a little. It looks a little funny that way. So this is what your turtle should look like so far. Um, now we're gonna take our lay our um, turtle's toes or feet, and the way I attached them was I. Let me take a look at this one. I've left one space for the head and I used two stitches. Okay. So I left space for the head and I'm going to grab these two stitches and I'm going to pull this band through. Obviously, it is um, your preference. On where you put the the arms and legs I don't really like that placement I'm gonna place it um a one closer looks a little too far away from the head in my opinion and you just tie it off like that and you do the same thing on the other side with another leg or foot or fin whatever you would like to call them. I think I should call them fin, fins, although I'm pretty sure I've been calling them feet this whole time. So, oopsie. Before you tie off, you're just gonna wanna make sure the placement matches the placement of, you know, the first fin. And now for our back fins. Back fins, you can really do whatever you want for the back fins. You can place them closer. I'm gonna place them right here. Just looks like a little further apart than I did last time. Uh, yeah, I'm mm, gonna have to adjust that. Looks a little too far out there in my opinion, so I'm gonna move it one down and tie off. And you can like take a look between, it's like one, two, three, like four ish away. But obviously, you don't have to place it um, where I'm placing it either. You can place it wherever looks best for you. I accidentally pulled this band out of that. So we're going to pull it through and tie off. And then... You're just going to want to hide um, your tie-off bands in the shell. And then if you're like me and you have some like stuffing sticking out, you are just going to want to either like put that, push shove that back into the body or pull it off. Um, pull it off, but yes. So I hope everyone enjoyed my tutorial hope it was um easy to follow and whatnot and yet again thanks to um cupcake looms for designing this and letting me make the tutorial for it this is a super duper super duper cute mini turtle I think um, it is a great alternative to um, the big turtle if you can't make that yet. But yeah. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you did enjoy, please leave me a like, comment below, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop. And be sure to check out my Amazon storefront. And don't forget that Cupcake Looms social media will be linked in the description below. 
So you guys should totally check out her Instagram and YouTube as well. Bye guys. I will see you in my next tutorial.